shocker for Tinubu. A Southeast nominee rejects his appointment into CBN. His reasons will shock you. People just they talk left, right, and center as this one happened. So people they talk say they never say this kind of a thing. No, <laughs> we don't see them for this one now. I bet maybe hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Share the video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Hurum Talo Ike, the Southeast nominee for membership of the Central Bank of Nigeria Board of Directors, on Thursday declined the offer on the floor of the Senate, stating his reason. Record that President Bola Metinubu had on February 13 forwarded the names of Kalu and four others for confirmation as members of the board for the CBN. The president's request was contained in a letter read by the president of the Senate's president, Senator Godwin Okpabio, during plenary. In the letter, Tenubu explained that his request was in accompliance with the provision of Section 6, 1A in brackets of the Section 10, 1, 2 on in brackets of the CBN Act 2007, said in compliance with the provision of Section 6, 1A in brackets of the Section 10, 1, 2 of the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN, established Act 2007. I am pleased to present for confirmation by the Senate the appointment of the underlisted five persons as directors of the board of the CBN. However, during Thursday's plenary, as the Senate began, or began the process for the confirmation of the nominees, Kalu Ike announced his rejection of the nomination. During the confirmation, the former governor of Abia State, Senator Oji Kalo, the APC Abia North, told the Senate that the person who is, is, uh, is in his continent had called him on the phone to reject the offer, noting that his reason is that it would conflict with his present job as a consultant with the World Bank. He said, the, no the nominee told me this role would conflict with his job as a consultant to the World Bank, the federal government agencies, and other private companies. The Abia Senate, uh, Abia Senator added that Mr. E.K. is a consultant to the World Bank and other international financial institutions, which will not allow him to concentrate fully on the appointment. Mr. President, I am a member of the committee that carried out screening of nominees forward to the the Senate for appointment as members of Board of Directors of CBN by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. During the screening exercise, Ike, Kalu Ike from Abia North called me for not attending the, the session. He said as a consultant to the World Bank and other international financial institutions, and he will not take the appointment to avoid conflict of interest. The Deputy Senate President, Jubri, who presided over the plenary, subsequently announced the confirmation of the appointment of other four nominees. Those confirmed by the Senate on Thursday as directors are Rob Robert Adegbe, Ado Yakubo, Wanka, Professor Motola Sambo Sa Sagagi and uh, Mrs. Aliyu Olaniki. The confirmation was square to the consideration of a report of the screening of the nominee presented by the chairman, the Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance, and other financial institutions by the chairman, Senator Adetumbo. Abiru, APC, Lagos East. Abiru said that the Senate do receive and consider the report of 
on the confirmation of the nomination of the following five persons as members of the board of directors of the Central Bank of Nigeria in accordance with Section 6, 1, 2, D, and 10 of the Central Bank of Nigeria Act 2007. According to him, the committee did not clear Kalu Ike from Abia because he failed to appear before the committee for screening. Meanwhile, the Senate has approved the disengagement of Babatunde as the Chief Executive Vice Chairman of the Federal uh, Com Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, ECCPC. This followed the approval of the request by President Tinubu, seeking the Senate approval on the disengagement of uh, Mr. Iru Uri Keruka, Iru Kera, okay. A record that President Tinubu in a letter dated 30th January asked the Senate to approve the disengagement. The Senate leader, Obayemi Bamidele, moved the motion for consideration of the President's request. In his contribution, uh, Dixon, the PDP Bayasa said that if there was an allegation of misconduct, then the Senate was entitled to know the totality of the facts of the alleged misconduct. Osita Ngo, the PDP Enugu, noted that though the FEEPC Act of 2018 has a session on misconduct, he however said the President did not base the removal of Mr. Iru Kera on misconduct. The president is not seeking removal of the officer based on misconduct, but inability to effectively perform his duty. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.